Hey guys, um, I'm going music shopping today and I thought why not take you guys along with me. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of here and go to the first of many music shops that I'm going to be visiting. And of course we'll be starting with our first HMV. All right, I'm heading into town now. I have a rough idea of what I'm looking for today. Looking for some Black Sabbath CDs, more particularly like Masters of Reality, Paranoid, or potentially Bloody Sabbath. Um, outside of that, I wouldn't mind some more Sepulchre or Avenged Sevenfold. It's not a specific like shopping list of like albums I'm looking for, but it is like a rough idea of like what to look out for. But I've got an open mind. If I see a CD that tickles my fancy, I will be probably buying it depending on the price. And here we are in HMV. All right, what have they got? Oh, there is Black Sabbath. Okay, got that one. Yep, my original Moss of Reality got lost ages ago, so I might have to buy this one. Six quid as well. Okay, update. They also had Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, but do they have Opeth? Oh, they have Overkill. How much is their new album? Oh, 11 quid. Too expensive for moi, I'm afraid. Okay, so the fact that Deliverance is only going for four quid first hand in HMV shows me that OPEF is still underrated. I don't care what anyone says. Good to see the new Avenged Sunford album is still on display where it belongs. Okay, so I found the bloodbath section. Got it, got it, got it. Too expensive, okay. Ooh, cattle decap. How much is the new one going for? That was really good. A bit expensive for me, sorry. Okay, I know it may seem sacrilegious, but I think I might leave behind Masters of Reality just because I'm on a student budget right now. But I will be taking Bloody Sabbath with me though. Whoa, but hold on a second. Is these all of the old Arch Enemy albums hidden behind this? Oh my goodness, it is. Burning Bridges? Wow. I've never seen these in a HMV before. You know what? Why not? And of course now I'm at the vinyl, just poking my nose through what there is really more than anything else. Ooh! Hello Bloodbath again. Lots of good stuff here. <sighs> tempting, tempting. Hello my love. <laughs> I genuinely will never shut up about that album, I swear. All right, and now we're heading to CEX. I know what you're saying, but there's never good music in there. And granted, there's never usually music on sale in there to begin with. Well, I thought the same until I picked up a Six Feet Under CD in the CEX a few weeks back. Hmm. <sighs> you disgust me. Oh, wait, hold on. Hello. Don't mind if I do. Next spot is a second-hand music shore with shore. I mean, I'm sure that it's a store, not a shore, of vinyl and CD and cassette. And here we are. Decent selection, I suppose. Jazz and blues. Don't mind if I do's. Once I'd found the metal and punk section in that shop, I got to work looking for what I wanted, and I managed to find a System of a Down CD, which I was very, very pleased about. But that was about it for that one. Whilst on my way to my next destination, I stumbled across a vinyl shop, and um, that was a pleasant surprise. Found a few things that looked really, really cool, but nothing I didn't own already. Wow, good to see you in here too. On to the next shop. This one was yet another vinyl and CD second-hand store in which there was a lot of the former and the latter. There was a few really, really nice vinyl that did tempt me, but I was after CDs today. But my golly gosh, their CD selection was fucking amazing, and I definitely did end up indulging in a few purchases. After, of course, a extended period of browsing, which I often do in these places. Ooh, those look nice. Ooh, so do those. Oh, I can't. And, of course, I got this Children of Bodom and Escape the Fate. And right there and then I also spotted Judas Priest Defenders of the Faith, which I could not pass up. Great haul. All right, next on the agenda is to go to the train station so that we can reach the final CD shops. 
that we need to hit up today because these ones you cannot reach without a quick chain journey there. So let's go. Once I arrived, I decided to pop in quickly to a vinyl themed cafe, which looked bloody lovely if you ask me. Great selection of music by the looks of it. Uh, a few things there that did catch my eye as if I was a magpie, but didn't grab anything from there though. What I was really there for is this next shop that you're seeing me in right now, and as you can probably tell, there's a good reason for that. The sheer selection of CDs that you see just as you walk in is maddening. I was just in complete awe. Just the amount of CDs this place has. And vinyls as well. Don't forget the vinyls they got. And as you can obviously see, I've already chosen two of the CDs that I'm going home with from that place. But that decision will get more difficult because I found the Napalm Deaf section in which I made my choice by the looks of it. Didn't take me very long, did it? Yeah. And as for the final shop, it was another HMV. Who knew? Okie dokie, wokie cokey, we are in the second HMV and the final shop and in another metal section, of which it's a healthy sizing, I must say. Oh, definitely can't be that bad. It's got some on a mouth. Okay, I'm learning from my mistake and this time I'm actually going to be buying Masters of Nevermind. Look at that price. Should have got it when I saw it originally. Oh, but I will be picking up this Paranoid CD. Oh, a bit of Caius as well. Ooh, maybe, maybe. Might do, might do. Ooh, they've blue to the red sun. Or is Sky Valley better? I don't know. Ooh. All in the Pantera section as well. Mine. Decisions have been made. And now that I'd ripped giant gaping holes in the bottom of my pocket, it was time to head home to look at all the goodies that I picked up. And oh boy, do I have some goodies to show off today. The absolute haul of music that I've picked up from this video is astounding. Um, let's go through it, shall we? They're all CDs, mind, because I'm a boring bastard. I do listen to other music formats, by the way. It just so happens that CD is my favourite. Jesus Christ, I really did buy a load, didn't I? Right. Cool. Let's look at the CDs. Okay. Um, this is in no particular order, because I can't be asked to organise them based on which I bought first, because it was all bought in the span of 24 hours. But, yeah. I guess we can go in, like, kind of an order. Let let's go through the, the second-hand CDs that I got first, because... That's the majority of what this haul is. All right, so we've got Dream Theater's self-titled. We've got Dream Theater's A Dramatic Turn of Events. Very happy about that. Anyone who's been around the channel any period of time knows how much of a Dream Theater fan I am. Also got System of Down's Hypnotize, which, great album. We've got two Napalm Death CDs with Utilitarian, as well as Fit, Emptiness, and Despair. Great grind chord, that is. Also got a Man of War CD, Triumph of Steel. Pretty good. Main reason I bought it is because of Achilles Agony and Ecstasy, because it's a half hour magnum opus of music, really, so. The other parts of it is good as well. Also got, of all things, a Mozart CD, because I'm a music nerd, apparently. Got a Status Quo Greatest Hits. Got Children of Bodom's Are You Dead Yet, my favorite album of theirs, which very, very glad to have this finally. Escape the Fate with This War Is Ours, this is Taking me way back to my emo days, so couldn't not get this. Got some good old Prudus Geest with Defenders of the Faith, which if you saw my Judas Priest ranking video, I mentioned how I love the shit out of this album and most of the songs that are on here, so couldn't not get it. And the last but not least of the second hand, we got Sonic Youth with the album Sister, and I did not expect to just run into this randomly in a CD shop, in the window of a CD shop, but I did. I'm sad that I didn't really film me spotting it, but I've got it now and I'm very very glad that I do. Because White Cross, like the second to last song on this album, might be one of my favourite songs of all time. At least at the moment, I'm just infatuated with it as a song. It's just so interesting. Anyway, that's my second end. We've got four more, and they are, you already know what they are, I don't know why I'm not picking it up. 
Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, which you can't go wrong with. Same with Paranoid. Now, before you comment, I did already own a copy of Paranoid CD, but it went missing years ago, so I rebought it for a grand total of six quid. So I, I could not. It's a no-brainer, really. Glad to finally have it again. I got Testament: The Legacy, which. I don't really want to spoil the Testament album ranking video when it comes out, but this will be high up in the ranking when I eventually get to, to rank um, Testament. But yeah, great album, great thrash. And then last but not least is Misfits with American Psycho, and it said in here there's a poster inside, so we're actually going to test whether the CD's lying to us or not. So we're going to open this, but I will speed this up because most of this will be trying to find a lynch hole. Need a hole. Peel this shrink wrap off. Aha, got it, finally. <laughs> I don't know how long that was in real time, but I've sped that up for you in editing, probably. Alright, cool. Ah, uh, fucking love the misfits. Right, let me just put this in the bin. Alright, is there a poster? Oh, it might be the, the leaflet that's the poster. Let's actually have a look. That might be what it is. Because there's not like a, a there's not like an obvious clue as to whether there's a poster in here yet. But I'm not giving up hope. Oh yes, I was correct. I was right on the money. Boom, shakalaka. Oh, and it's of the band. Oh, that's really sick. I like it when bands do this for their albums when they release shit. Lovely stuff. Boom. Done. Lovely. I won't de-shrink wrap these other first-hand ones because they don't promise a poster inside, so I'll save these for another day. But that does conclude my haul. Lots of good music here. Lots more good tunes to sink my teeth into. Hope you guys enjoyed this little vloggerino. Um, and yeah, that's about it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.